Okay, here's a little bit more information on those Philips Instant Fit LED tubes that I showed you last night. Now when you first unbox your Philips Instant Fit LED tube, this is what it'll come as. Although in last night's video you probably saw bare LEDs. What I did out of curiosity and to maximize the light output was uh, I removed this part from one of my LED tubes so I have those bare LEDs and what I did to do that was on this end that says Philips if you look between the pins on the top there's a little Philips screw in there and you take you take that screw out and this end cap will just slide off with the circuit board it'll slide off a little bit and then you just give it a good tug and then this connector will just pop off and then you could remove that then you slide the tube slide the tube out and you should get the this there are 30 LEDs along the length of this tube in total to that end. Then you just uh, put this back on, put the screw back in, and plug that connector back in. Now keep in mind if you do do this and decide it's too bright it's and you want to put this back on, it's very difficult to put plug the connector back in with this in place because you only have a gap about that much. This will also likely void the warranty on your Philips LED tube. Okay, with that said, let's uh, head up to the fixture. I got my dual in place. All right. Now, these Philips LED tubes are supposed to work with your existing F32 T8 ballast. Your main requirement is that you have an instant start electronic ballast for F32 T8 lamps. I don't know if you can see it or not. A magnetic one will not work, but most uh, T8 ballasts are instant start electronic ballasts. And if that's the case, you just pretty much have to change out the fluorescent tube with the LED tube, and you're done. I normally would turn off the power so I wouldn't get shocked, but see if I could do this carefully. There you go. Ballast is still in place and wired up.